It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bottle of Hop Code Lager. It's a lager beer coming in at 4.8% ABV, black bottle cap, and it's made by the brewery Hop Code. Okay, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. But first, very quickly, I'm going to show you what we're going to be pairing it with today. It's going to be the new Pringles Rice Fusion Malaysian Red Curry flavour. Pringles with rice. As we know in the beer industry, rice is a very stable product. I imagine they taste the same wherever you try them in the world. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Using, using a pills in the glass for this one. Just thought it would suit it quite well. We got a one to two finger white head, hazy looking beer, good levels of carbonation. It's straw coloured, hazy straw coloured beer. Looks very good, very nice looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Hmm. Yeah, like a new world German style lager. Lots of hops present. Some lemon, touch of grapefruit. Orange, maybe some pink grapefruit. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Crisp, clean refreshing a little bit of sweetness to begin with nice bitterness on the back end orange peel fleshy blood orange some grapefruit carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth releases more of that flavor that's lovely oh german summertime i can imagine just this just going down an absolute treat the drinkability on this beer is incredible. Just how kind of juicy and fresh and crisp this beer is. All of the top attributes of a, of a world-class German lager with some new world hops. How does that sound to you? Sounds good to me. Show you a little bit more of this sediment. In the bottle, look at that. A lovely hazy looking beer. Okay, if you've come for a review of the crisps, let's get these Malaysian red curry flavour crisps out. Rice fusions. That's a look at them. Oh, it's so tempting, isn't it? I mean, come on guys, we've all had Pringles. The old saying, once you pop, you can't stop. The decent thing to do here would be to put one in my mouth and do a review of one. But that's not how we eat Pringles, is it? We don't do that with Pringles. We, I mean, we stuff them in a bit like this. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna review them how you guys would eat them. Mmm! Oh my goodness me! Mmm! <clears throat> Do you know what they instantly reminded me of? Instantly reminded me! Do you know when you go up your local Chinese chippy or Chinese takeaway and whether it's sometimes like me, you don't have much money or there's times where you don't want a full on Chinese, you're on your own. I'm not always on my own, I have a wife and kids, but there's times where I'm on my own. I don't want to splash out for a massive Chinese. 
so I get out one tray, everything in a tray. And that's generally curry rice and chips in a tray from a Chinese. You can't beat it sometimes, can you? This, uh, the first mouthful of these crisps was like having a chip with a bit of curry and some rice on your fork and just smashing it in your mouth. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, well, my local Chinese anyway, the, the, the curry sauce they make up there, I'm pretty sure they're all industrial powders that they buy from the Chinese supermarkets, yeah? So I'm pretty sure they all taste similar. That is like curry rice and chips in a tray. <laughs> and the fact that they're made with rice is incredible. Please, go out and try it. One moment after some curry rice and chips, the next moment, have a mouthful of these. Mmm. They are, for me, I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't think I've done a stone the crows for food any, ever. But stone the crows. Stone the crows, I think I've just found my new favourite snack. I can't call them crisps, because they're like a weird crispy rice fusion thing. They are my new favourite snack. Without a shadow of a doubt. And I've got to eat them all now because I've ripped the lid off. Always got to have an excuse, haven't you? Rip the lid off. Chuck the lid in the bin. These things are not very good. You have to eat the old box. <laughs> Stone the crows for that. Stone the crows for this beer. Together, it's like sitting in a Chinese restaurant with curry rice and chips and a beer. What more could you possibly want from life? Them crisps, or rice fusions from Pringles, are a stone the crows, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And the beer is just as good. I'm just trying it now with that little bit of sediment in. If you're new to beer, if you've just joined for the Pringles review, and you want to know why I'm drinking a hazy beer, uh, and it's not looking clean and crisp, and, and, and the clarity's not great, it's because it's craft beer, and craft beer is all about flavour. Like we're eating flavour some foods, I drink flavour some beers. And that means they're unfiltered, there's more flavour in them. That beer is incredible. That's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for Hop Code Lager. Really highly recommend it. It's like the best German lager in the world with some American hops added. 9 out of 10 for the beer, 10 out of 10 for the rice fusions, absolutely incredible. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, <coughs> pardon me. Give us a big fat thumbs up, boom and cheers!